هنگام همگی شما نیک در این آموزه میخوایم روی یکی از درس های تخصصی در رشته پرستاری کار کنیم آموزش به زبان انگلیسی خواهد بود این درس به شما کمک میکنه که با واژگان با واژگان تخصصی و همگانی و نکته های دستوری زبان آشنا بشید که بدون چطور خودخوان درس های تخصصی رو بخونید این آموزه از بخش هشت هیمو دایالیسیس گزنش شده اوکی گایز لیست گیت ستارد تکنیکل انگلیش فور نرسنگ ستودنس یونیت ایت هیمو دایالیسیس This lesson has been taken from the book named English for Nursing Students by Nasrin Khaki, Yadullah Jannati, and Hassan Iravani. It's going to talk about uh, hemodialysis. In this picture, picture, we can see the hemodialysis process, how it works. And now we will have different sections in this lesson first we work we work on technical words then we have some general words we have grammar and we have a preposition point here prepositional point good let's get to the first section technical vocabulary hemodialysis hemodialysis a procedure where a dialysis machine and a special filter called an artificial kidney or a dialyzer are used to clean your blood. Example, hemodialysis has improved the morbidity and mortality associated with end-stage renal disease. Dialyzer Dialyzer, artificial kidney. The dialyzer's function is to remove the excess waste and fluid from the blood when the patient's kidneys can no longer perform that task. Clot, coagulation, coagulation. Examples, some types of snake venom prevent blood from clotting. She developed a blood clot on her brain and died. Blood thinner. Blood thinner. Blood thinners are medicines that prevent blood clots from forming. They do not break up clots that you already have. Anticoagulants, commonly known as blood thinners or chemical substances that prevent or reduce coagulation of blood, prolonging the clotting time. Semi-permeable. Semi-permeable, selectively permeable. Something, for example, a cell membrane that is semi-permeable allows some liquids and gases to pass through it, but not others. Examples. Another example of a semi-permeable membrane is dialysis tubing. The interesting features of these particles were that they were enclosed in a semi-permeable membrane, like the typical cell membrane. The next word is dialyzate. Dialyzate. Dialyzate, also called dialysis fluid, dialysis solution, or bath, is a solution of pure water, electrolytes, and salts such as bicarbonate and sodium. The purpose of dialyzate is to pull toxins from the blood into the dialyzate. The way this works is through a process called diffusion. The physician in charge of hemodialysis has the ultimate responsibility for dialysate quality. The next word is membrane. Membrane, a thin piece of skin that covers or connects parts of a person's or animal's body. 
The cornea is the transparent membrane that covers the front of the eye. Renal. Renal, relating to the kidneys. Renal impairment is not uncommon in the elderly. Fistula. Fistula. An abnormal opening or passage from one organ to another or from an organ to the skin surface. Gas in the bladder may be related to a fistula between the bladder and the colon. The next word here is amyloidosis. Amyloidosis. This is a rare disease that occurs when a protein called amyloid builds up in organs. This amyloid buildup can make the organs not work properly. A chronic abnormality of the immune system is the mechanism frequently proposed for the pathogenesis of the amyloidosis. Resuscitation. Resuscitation. The act of bringing someone or something back to life or waking them. The patient suffered from a cardiac arrest and died despite an attempt at resuscitation. Nephrology. Nephrology. The area of science and medicine that is concerned with the kidneys. Renal physiology is the study of kidney function, while nephrology is the medical specialty concerned with kidney diseases. Catheter Catheter a long, very thin tube used to take liquids out of the body. The balloon catheter was replaced by the end hole catheter and angiography repeated. Okay, thank you everyone. So far, so good. We've covered the technical words. Now we're going to work on some general vocabulary items. The first one here is assortment assortment which means collection grouping mixture here we have one example the survey asked these personnel a broad assortment of questions to gauge their understanding and appreciation canister canister a round or cylindrical container typically one made of metal used for storing such things as food, chemicals, or rolls of film. The police fired tear gas canisters into the crowd. Several people were taken to the hospital. I have a large canister of traditional medicine in the kitchen. Fatal. Fatal. A fatal illness, accident, etc. causes death. This illness is fatal in almost all cases. Initiate. Initiate. To cause something to begin. For example, the commission has power to initiate legislation. Long term. Long term which is the opposite of short term. In the long term, the hospital hopes to establish a new ward in its major operation room. Over the long term, such measures may only make the underlying situation worse. Overload. Overload. To give something or someone too much work, Many companies limit person personal downloads so that they don't overload the computer system. 
complication problem difficulty if any complications arise let me know and i'll help overwhelming overwhelming very great or very large very great in amount an overwhelming majority has voted in favor of the proposal kink kink an unwanted twist or bend in a wire rope pipe etc that is unusual that is usually straight for example there was a kink in the pipe Okay, these were the general vocabulary items. Now we have uh, a grammatical point here. We have we're going to work on in which and in which case, which appeared in your book. When we say in which, we usually mean where, which refers to the place. For example, we went to the house on the top of the hill in which. We made many childhood memories. It's like you say, where? This is the desk in which I keep my books. As I told you before, this is like you say, where? This is the desk where I keep my books. That was the meaning of in which when we, had, we, we just uh, saw one of its functions here. Now, here we have in which case in which case generally in which case means if this has happened if this is true or simply we can say in this case look at this example she may have missed the train in which case she won't arrive for another hour here is a uh, another another sentence related to that she may have missed the train and if this has happened she won't arrive for another hour if this is true she won't arrive for, an, for another hour or in this case if this is true she won't be here for another hour It may show there has been no irregularity or malpractice, in which case the process ends. Means if that is true, the process will be over. And here is the proposition. We have a proposition here at risk. At risk. Women are more at risk from the harmful effects of alcohol than men. A synonym for risk can be danger. Their children are also at risk of developing the disease. So as you can see here, we had at risk from, and after that you have a noun, the harmful effects. And here we have at risk at high risk of this is at risk of development if you bring a verb after this of because of is a preposition you need to have it in the ing format okay everyone uh, i hope this lesson uh, can be useful for you we worked on preposition we had uh, one or two grammatical points here we worked on general vocabulary and we also had some technical vocabulary items. So whenever you're going to work on a technical lesson, be sure to learn the technical words. Be sure to work on general words. And if it has any grammatical uh, point, you need to learn that. And if that lesson has some new prepositions for you, also work on that when you're learning a general text, which is basically a technical one. You, need, you also need to learn some general vocabulary 
items and grammatical points thank you very much thank you so far so good this is the end of the lesson